Welcome back guys and gals. I just wanted to bring you a video today. You know, CDC recommends that you have at least two weeks of food in your pantry at all times. Especially after this pandemic we went through in the past few years. So today I wanted to bring you like some of the meats and meals that you should have in your pantry now and always be building that pantry up. So let's get into it. So first I've got like the beefaronis, the beefaronis and the lasagnas and spaghettis. You can't rule those out. Those are fast. You can pop the top. If we have power, you can microwave them. If not, you got the little camp stoves, I'm sure. You can put them on there, warm them up, and they're easy to go. Easy peasy. And then, whether you get the small cans or the big cans of beef stew, that's always got a power punch of protein with your meat, and you got carrots and potatoes, and it gives you something good to eat. And then, you always want chili, whether you want chili for your hot dogs, or you want chili with beans, get it in the camera, the chili with beans is a power punch, it's a two for one, you get two sources of protein with your beans and your meat. So that's a good one right there. And then, don't forget your sloppy joe sauce to go with your meat to spice things up. Because you don't want to have the same thing over and over and over and have it boring. Because I'm telling you, things can get boring after a while. So be able to spice it up with like the hot dog chili sauce for your hot dogs. And then like the sloppy joe sauce for your hamburger meat. And then here we have pulled pork. And then we have ground pork two different varieties and then we have diced ham these legs right here are really good they got different flavors i've seen like hickory i think they have mesquite also i'm not really sure but cooked ham these things are good for gift baskets they're good to open up for the holidays if you don't have a ham these things it says $2.99 right here. I know they've went up in price over the last few years. And they have a long, long, like this one's a 2027 when it expires. These things are good to put on the shelf, y'all. And then lunch meat. You know, Spam. Or the generic version. But Spam. Fry it up. Put some eggs on it. However you like it. They even got the bacon version. Don't knock spam, because if you don't have nothing else to eat, I guarantee you'll be cracking open a thing of spam if you find it. Corned beef. Corned beef is good. Corned beef is really good. I don't have no corned beef hash out here, or I'd show that to you, because we eat corned beef hash a lot. But I can open a can of this and a can of my uh, potatoes, and with seasoning, butter, some eggs and everything, and make some good corned beef hash. Then we also have fully cooked roast beef in a can. So choices are really unlimited. And then here you have the chunk chicken breast. You can get like one can up to like I think four cans. You can can you can can if you can can. <laughs> you get my drift. This is sausage patties that I canned up in November of 2021. We're going to be eating them soon. But you can also can up your own stuff and put your own meats. Like if you get a good sale on chicken, beef, whatever, can it up. Those tough steaks that you can't chew on. You can put them in a jar, can them up, and they'll be the most tender steaks you've ever ate in your life. But back to the chicken. You got chicken? Don't forget your soups. Like chicken and rice, chicken and noodles, stuff like that. And then, for the ones that like the chicken and dumplings, get the chicken and dumplings. Or dumplings and white chicken, as this one's called by Comfort Creek Foods. And then, don't forget the fish, the omega-3. 
So pink salmon, mackerel, you know, sardines. We don't do sardines here, but you get the drift. And don't forget, tuna, chunk like tuna. Yes, I know, mercury. But, you know, if you're really hungry, you're going to crack open that can of tuna. And you're going to enjoy it in tuna salad or fry up tuna patties, whatever the case may be. You're going to enjoy any and all of these meats. So I suggest maybe you want to go out and get a couple of cans of these, put on your shelf. And this is just a thought that I had today. I just wanted to bring this up, give you some ideas of what you might want to run out, put on your shopping list, go grab, and have on your pantry shelves, just in case. It's like CDC has warned everybody, you should at least have two weeks supplies of food per person and that goes with water also all right everybody please like and subscribe have a wonderful day god bless and we'll see you on the next video